Well, hello. Um, I am going to answer a question about how to set up character partitions in Mesquite. And here we have uh, the Enolis data file with uh, the species along the left here and the characters here. And the question is, how do we set the characters into a partition? And the way we do it is we go to the list of characters windows. Uh, there is uh, one way to get there, which is under characters, list of characters, and choose the matrix we want. Another way to get there is to select the, the matrix here and then go list and manage characters. And the third way is to hit this little C box down in the lower left and that's what I'll do. So I hit that and this is the list of the characters in that matrix. Uh, there are six of them. Um, and to set up a partition we first need to put up a new column uh, if it's not there already. Uh, and it's under here columns group membership for characters. So basically a character partition is an indication of what groups different characters belong to. Uh, so if I select that, I'll get this group column. And that may already be uh, uh, on your window, uh, so you may not have to have asked for it. But if it's there, we can now set up uh, character partitions. And um, we have to uh, choose the set of characters that we want to belong to one group. We go here to the top of the column, touch it, and we say new group. And we get to give a name to the group, and I'll just call this uh, first group. And we get to choose a color, and we can choose colors here, but we can also add a little bit of a, a darkness to them if we want a brown by pulling down here, for instance, and going to there, or we get grayscale here. So we do that, and now you'll notice, once it's done its thing, that the first two characters are listed there under first group. And I'm just going to say the next ones are... And you'll notice once we've done that, there's an available item in the set group uh, submenu, first group, but we want to create a new group for these last ones, for these other ones, so... And I'll make those green. And this one I will indicate as blue, and this will be third group. You can give these any names you want. And there we go. Um, once we've done that and we save the file, so I'll just save the file here, uh, it uh, will be stored as the current character partition, but we can store it explicitly with a specific name by going under that little drop-down menu and going here. And we can say this is uh, standard, standard groups. And once we've done that, we will notice that uh, we can see that uh, option, the one we saved there. And as we store different partition schemes, they'll show up in this drop-down menu. We can we can uh, uh, load them uh, to get back to previously saved partitions and so forth. Now. Once we've made these group names with their colors, we can edit them if we want to, say, change the color, make it up there or something like that. We can uh, change their names and so forth. We can also decide to delete some of the groups. Uh, uh, or if uh, we want to leave something unassigned, we can select it and do remove group designation. Once we've decide, defined the groups like this, it turns out that these colors and group indications will show up in various uh, places, such as charts. Um, but they're also very handy in this particular window to do things like select uh, only members of the first group or only members of the second group. And oftentimes I will sort something by uh, the name of it, uh, which gets the group membership out of whack, and then I can resort back into group memberships. And all of this that I've just shown you applies as well to taxa and taxa partitions, where it's particularly useful uh, because when we have taxa partitions, and I'm going to go here, list and manage taxa, you could have got to the list of taxa also this way under list of taxa. Um, if we assign groups here, and let's just call this, so these are now groups that apply to taxa. Uh, let's just call these green ones. Call this next set something else. We'll call this next set uh, 
blue ones. Uh, when we go to the tree, so if we ask to view a tree here, uh, you'll notice that the taxon names are actually colored by the groups. Um, we can turn that off if we want under names here. Oops, you can't see that because of the way the menu goes and how much screen I'm giving you. But right there, there's a color by taxon group thing. I'm going to turn that off. But I can also go here and turn on color branches by partitions. And I tend to do this uh, um, if I'm doing tree inference and I want to see whether or not the trees are coming out according to my um, pre-existing biases. Uh, so that is the lesson on partitions in both characters and taxa. And they get saved uh, in the Nexus file in the standard way for character and taxa partitions that you can then use in other programs. That's it.